One of Australia's biggest booksellers is considering moving part of its business offshore because it says it can't compete with cheap online sales. Don Grover, the head of Dimmock, says overseas retailers have an unfair advantage because they don't pay the GST. He wants the government to tax his international competitors to create a level playing field. For avid readers, it's a story that's hard to put down. The hero is the muscular Australian dollar. The setting, an online world of temptation. Some sites that make them extremely cheap. As often you can get them before they come out here and they're cheaper. But online imports are creaming the profit from Australia's bookstores. Even on sale, the best-selling Millennium Trilogy is $16 more expensive than buying from the UK, including delivery. Dimix is already trimming its margins and is looking to move its internet business overseas. Dimix has been in the business for 130 years and we're actually now having to make a decision about whether or not we move our online business offshore. It would actually make more sense for us to send books from an overseas location back into Australia and avoid the GST. Companies like the British-based Book Depository offer cheap books and free delivery and there's no GST to pay for international sales under $1,000. To give a competitive advantage to overseas websites of 10% is, is it's just unsustainable. The Booksellers Association says there's another factor in the higher price of local books. Publishers aren't passing on the savings they're getting from the strong exchange rate. And even with a GST, critics say overseas books will still be cheaper because publishers here are protected from fierce competition by parallel import laws. And online bargains could be the final straw for some small players. If those local bookshops disappear, I can guarantee you the prices will go up from those overseas providers if the competition isn't there. The government says it's committed to protecting Australian jobs and has contacted Dimmicks about its plans to move online sales offshore. And it's looking at whether the tax-free threshold for internet buys should be lowered. The internet is here to stay. You can't ban online shopping. Uh, the question is, have we got the threshold settings right at this stage? No final decision's been made on whether to shift Dimmick's online business to New Zealand or Hong Kong. But the company wants what it calls a level playing field, giving local booksellers a happy ending. Nicole Chettle, ABC News.